Yo, 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 YouTube, it's your boy KJ here. I'm back with another AR video, and this time on the Krig 6. And why am I covering the Krig 6? I've covered it a couple of times before. Well, in the new season, they've nerfed a little bit. And is it as good? We've got the new guns, um, the C58 from last season and the EM2 this season. So how does the Krig 6 stack up? Those other guns hit really hard, but does the Krig stack up to them? Is it still viable to use? And, you know, is it a gun that maybe you should consider switching from or keep using well i'm going to cover a little bit of that in this video right now So first, let's look at Time to Kill versus some other very popular ARs right now. And the thing about Time to Kill is it only tells part of the story. It doesn't tell you whether the gun's easy to use or whether you're going to like it or, you know, whether it's actually viable to use in a game because there's lots of guns that, you know, hit hard last season. Like think about in season four, the AK-47. The thing was practically unusable because the recoil was so high. Sure, it had a huge Time to Kill or a really low Time to Kill because it hit so hard, but you couldn't use the damn thing. It was nearly impossible to shoot at distance. So while Time to Kill is important, it's not ever everything. So let's start with it and then let's look at some other stuff that matters just as much. So when I look at the Krig 6, the time to kill up close up to say, you know, that 30 meter mark where you're sort of in SMG territory, it's actually not even close to being the best. It's, you know, one of the worst. It's about close to the C58, but it's not as good as the Farah, surprise, surprise, and the new EM2, which I think we all sort of know is pretty strong and it might receive a bit of a nerf. So when it comes to being up close, it's not really the best. And when it goes out to being long, it's still in third place compared to these other guns. So why would we want to use the Krig 6 if it looks like there's other guns that are better? And I just covered the EM2 and it's really good, but it's a slower firing, harder hitting, higher skill gun. So why would we use the Krig 6? Well, let me show you some footage so you can know why. So one other thing to know is Raven recently nerfed the Krig 6 even. You can see right here, August 5th, this is before season five started. Krig 6, lower torso multiplier decreased from 1.1 to one, and I'll show you that in a minute, and maximum damage range decreased from 1500 to 1400. So let's have a look at what that actually means. So while the lines look the same and the damage looks the same, the drop off went from 38 down to 36 meters. So it reduced the effective damage range a tiny bit. But what about that damage? Well, if I go look at the base stats, they sort of look the same until you see stomach. Stomach is now 30, the same as extremities. Where here on the pre-nerf gun, it was 33, the same as the chest. So what's gonna happen is if you're shooting a guy and you're hitting him in the chest and maybe you hit some stomach before, you're getting the chest damage. Now you're getting three less, which is stomach damage. And that's gonna change the time to kill quite a bit if all of a sudden you're shooting in the stomach. And here's what that looks like. The stomach damage went from 644, now after the nerf it's 736. So if you're not really hitting chest shots, your time to kill has gone up quite a bit with this gun now after the nerf. But what does that look like in gameplay? So while I said they've nerfed it and, you know, there's some other guns that hit harder, here's the thing about the Krig 6, is that it's so smooth and easy to use, I find that I hit almost all of my shots. And some of the other guns that do more damage, if you're not hitting your shots with them, then of course you're not going to get the time to kill. Now shooting a guy out of a helicopter, that's one thing, it just makes it easy to track when your gun doesn't have a lot of recoil, like, you know, here and there, and it's just one of my favorite things to do is to shoot the helicopter guys that love to come and squish you. But when you're taking shots on a guy who's running, running and moving, the fact that the gun shoots so smooth and is so easy to use, like right here, check this out, these guys hiding, I think I hit almost all of the shots there, look at that, and then go back to his head, that's what makes this gun so good, is even though it may have been slightly nerfed, the fact that it's so easy to use is what makes this gun so powerful. You can have guns with a faster time to kill. But if you're not hitting the shots, it doesn't matter. And that's where this gun shines, right? Shot that guy, this guy runs out and just blast them. Those were probably stomach or chest shots. I don't know, it doesn't matter because I hit every single one of them. And that's the thing. Now watch this guy, he's sniping at me. And in all rights, this guy with the sniper should have downed me, yet I strafed and got the down right there. That's what's great about the Krig. And talking about recoil, have a quick look at this. I've shown this before, but here's the recoil of the Krig. And look at how little recoil the thing has. It barely goes halfway up a wall. Where like the C58, I think it shot 10 bullets off the top of the building. And in a controlled shot right here, this is why you're able to beam guys with this thing and hit all your shots. Because look at how tight that shot pattern is right there. It's just absolutely dead center. And that's what makes this thing so powerful. 
So I'm carrying the Craig 6 right now with the Mac 10. And I gotta say, this is probably my favorite easy to use combo, especially on Rebirth. Cause the Craig, you can shoot it long distance and it's super strong and very easy to fire. The Mac 10, 1100 RPM, it's really easy to hit guys and very forgiving if you miss a shot because of that super high fire rate. It's really a jack of all trades combination. So if you're running into any trouble playing, you're looking for that you know loadout to help get you back on your feet and build some confidence, this is it guys. I'm telling you that this is a really good combo. And I'll have my Mac 10 loadout pretty soon because I've made a few changes on it compared to how I used to play with it before. But we're here to look at the Craig 6. So let me show you that. But just before I do that, I wanna say thank you to everybody who's recently subbed to the channel is here watching my videos. I really appreciate all of the support. So thank you guys. And if you haven't subbed to the channel, consider subscribing because it really does help small content creators like myself. All right, let me show you my build. So my build on the Craig has only changed a tiny bit since last season. So we've been sort of bouncing between the suppressor and the agency suppressor, depending on what they were doing. But the agency is back to being the best suppressor right now in the game. So sound suppression, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, and effective damage range. And for the barrel, I know we've bounced between the Ranger and the CMV mil spec. I know some people still use the Ranger today, but I think the mil spec is a better is the better barrel. You get just as much bullet velocity, but you also get horizontal and vertical recoil control. Now you think might think this gun doesn't need it, but that's what makes it so smooth shooting when you're using it because the more you can do to get rid of that recoil the easier it's going to be to play with this gun and that's what really makes the Krig special is how smooth and easy to shoot it is now for an optic uh, still running the Axe Alarms 3X, but gaining popularity is the Royal and Cross 4X. So especially in longer distances, this helps a little bit because the 3X is actually only 2X as far as I can tell in the actual zooming. So if you're looking for a bit more zoom and you want more than the Axial, try the Royal and Cross 4X. Now for the ender barrel, I'm running the field agent grip. So again, it's about reducing that recoil. It has very little anyway, but everything you can do to make this thing shoot like a laser beam, just like the videos you are watching, the better. And for ammunition, running the Stenag 60 round, not a whole lot of surprise here. It's been the magazine we've pretty well been running the entire time. Now, I have tried this gun as a close range um, sniper support option as well. And when I did that, I ran it without a barrel and I sort of an SMG build, right? Your Tiger Team Spotlight, get rid of your Axial Arms, grab the Raider stock, and you can pretty well run it like this. And if you really want, you can get rid of the Field Agent Grip and go with the Airborne Elastic Wrap for that ADS time. And this will give you a really good base gun, sort of like an SMG build, that's a great sniper support weapon as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, guys. Are you using the Krig or using some other ARs? I've been playing with a whole bunch of them lately, and honestly, whenever I go back to the Krig, it always feels really good, really comfortable, and really easy to use. And I tend to have really good games because the Mac 10 Krig combo is just so easy to use. I'm not going to say it's OP, but it's smooth and it's really confidence building. So it really helps you, you know, feel really confident and push. And as soon as you start doing that, that's when you start to win. So give this a shot and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you've got another way that you've been running this thing or a different builds you've been using let me know what it is because i really like trying different stuff out especially if you have like you know a secret way you've built some attachments and you think it's really working for you hit me up in the comments section and let me know what it is so we can share it with everybody in the community anyways guys i think that's it for me i'm gonna have um rebirth best loadouts coming out pretty soon uh i think on sunday i'm gonna try and do a video anyways if you don't see me in warzone if you don't see me in multiplayer only matter time baby i'm james out